Hello everyone, this is Teacher Will, and in today's video I want to talk about a topic that I believe might assist you, or at least I hope it assists you, with respect to achieving your English goals. What is this particular word? Wait, what's going on? What's going on? The lights are off? Imagine if you are watching a movie, listening to music, watching a film, podcast, or even an English video, you don't see yourself, your experience of who you are, your lived experience is not shown, is not visualize. You don't see yourself as it relates to learning English. What does that make you think? How does that make you feel? I want to talk about the word representation. Representation. Synonyms of the word would include depiction, portrayal, image. Representation as it relates to English. Do you believe, do you think that you are represented? Do you see yourself in videos, whether on social media or in academic books, English journals, books relating to English grammar or vocabulary idioms? Do you see yourself represented? Why do I believe representation is important? Well, for me, I believe that when you see yourself, you believe that you are part of the English journey. It will enhance your English. It will give you or possibly give you a sense of ownership, a sense of confidence. And representation, I would submit to you, is extremely important. Why? Because English, in case you don't know, is a global international language. I believe representation is important as it relates to accents, dialect, variety of the English language and how it's used that it does not yet have to be, representation does not typically or historically does not have to represent only native English speaking countries. That is important. Yet, the question that you have to ask yourself, or at least think about in this video, where is your representation? Are you being seen? Are you being heard? If that's yes, then great. But if not, where is your responsibility, your accountability to have your representation being seen? Your life, your story, your journey is just as important and you have a right to be represented why? Because you have a right to this English language just as much as anyone else does. And oftentimes what happens, at least in my opinion, that the representation of English in its full glory is something that perhaps we as individuals, perhaps we as an industry can do a better job at. Because imagine if I don't speak a certain way, if I don't have a certain accent, if I don't have a particular hue, what impact does that have from, let's say, someone living in William Land that doesn't look like typically what the normal story is as it relates to learning English? So representation, ladies and gentlemen, I would submit to you, it's your responsibility. It is your opportunity to be seen, to be heard. And when learning English, I want you to understand something, at least from my perspective. Representation 
is not only about the dialects and the varieties, but English representation is about culture. It's about understanding how this language is impacted through different cultures. So where is your representation? What are you going to do about it? Because ultimately, you, the learner, you, the student, you have a responsibility to represent you. And if you don't see that you're represented, if you don't believe that you have a sense of representation, then no one's really going to change that unless you demand that. Image, portrayal of English. What are you going to do about it? That's the video. For those of you that don't know me, welcome. My name is Teacher Will. Hopefully this is a place where you and I, we learn together. Do you feel that you're represented in the English language, in the industry? Let me know in the comment section. And perhaps you've never even thought about this. And perhaps some of you out there might think that representation is something that's woke or politically correct. And you have a right to that opinion. Yet I would submit to you, your life, your experience is just as valid and has a, a right to be represented just like everyone else is. So can't no one tell you that your life experience, or should I say, don't let anyone define English for you, but you become the representation of what you want your life to be through English. Until next time.